You're watching Coin Local 6 at 6. Well, did you see it driving into work this morning? Vandals tagged the brand new MLK Viaduct in Southeast Portland, and you're going to pay to clean it up. Taggers are using buildings and bridges to create artwork, and they've created a million dollar mess. New at 6 now, Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya is live in Southeast. This is very expensive to clean up. Very. Wait till you hear how much it costs to clean up this mess every year, Kelly. And do you remember how long this stretch of road was closed? Detours and a traffic nightmare. And the result? This beautiful new bridge, which has become a blank canvas for taggers. I was driving north on McLaughlin and I saw one of the pillars and it said, Have fun. And I just went, Ugh! Seeing graffiti makes Terry Papino furious. It's so aggravating to see someone vandalize our beauty. Papino works as a crime prevention coordinator for the city of Portland. When she saw this graffiti on her way to work Tuesday morning, she pulled over to take pictures. This is the MLK Viaduct. It's what connects 99E from Milwaukee into Southeast Portland. The project cost more than $70 million, and already you can see fresh graffiti. This construction zone in Southeast Portland has been tagged. Take a look at the detailed graffiti on that train and on the concrete wall. And about 100 yards away, this building in Southeast Portland covered in graffiti. It's about six feet tall. According to the city's graffiti abatement department, the city spends about $3 million a year cleaning up graffiti. Local businesses spend another $2 million every year cleaning up after vandals, making this a $5 million problem. City officials say they can't leave it up. It attracts other vandalism and crime. So is there any way to prevent it? Papino says document it and report it as soon as you see it. We have two officers at Central Precinct who work exclusively on graffiti. And parents, keep a watchful eye on your kids. A lot of times uh, taggers will practice. They'll practice in notebooks. They'll practice um, in their rooms. They'll practice elsewhere. And it's not just an innocent art uh, exploration. These are people who are practicing to put it out into the community and to vandalize other people's property. Another tip for parents, a little more obvious one, but if your kids have a lot of cans of spray paint in your house and they don't have a school project or anything at home that needs to be repaired, you should start asking questions. Now, this mess, well, this belongs to ODOT. They will have to clean up 99E and the entire bridge. There's tagging all up and down it, and there is an app for that. It's called PDX Reporter. If you happen to see something like this in your neighborhood, download it for your Android or your iPhone, and you can report it to the city. It's very easy. We've already tried. Reporting for you live in Southeast Portland, Casey Montoya. Quinn Local 6.